Welcome back, guys. We just finished eating the axle all set up, and the cool thing about the axle is, yeah, we took a long time getting these through here, and it's definitely mounted up now. We got perfect spacing on either side, and we're all ready to go for the powertrain and everything. So over here, we have the racing hubs, which the, we're not going to end up using these for the wheels, but you could to mount these to the wheels. But also, in our case, we're going to mount them to the sprocket plate thing, which then will mount to the inside of this. So we're going to be able to mount that to directly to the axle with a keyway. And then we're going to have to do brakes on one side of it. And then we're going to make a custom mount welded to the chassis of the caliper assembly because we're going to do calipers instead of whatever weird drum thing they had previously. So we're going to throw this together and get it in the car and we'll see how it goes. mounting up the sprocket here what we can see is we got the thing all keyed we had to grind down the keyway just a little bit to get it to fit in there but it's all good now and then we tighten down all these bolts on here so it ends up it's uh chains about right in the middle of the sprocket but the motor's not mounted down yet so we can't figure any of that out but for the time being this is finished this is finished we got uh we use the extra hubs because we're using uh non-race hub wheels just gonna mount to the one inch axle. We use these extra hubs to hold to the middle here. So the when the axle slides back and forth that these things uh, just basically just thrust force on the bearings here so we don't have to worry about it. So those hold the axle in place and then this will put power to it. And now we have to move on to this side where we just somehow fabricate some kind of caliper mount for the brake calipers. So let's get started.
Alright, all right, so we finally finished mounting all this brake stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can actually run the engine, with, uh, run it through the sprocket, and see if we can actually like stall it out with this brake. Because this brake's pretty nice, but then uh, the next step's making like little brackets here and there to relocate the cable over there so that it can be used with this. So now what we're going to try to do is start it up and see if we can actually stop it with the brake. That was, oh. Yeah, so basically what we're gonna end up doing is we have that working. So the next biggest thing is this. See, that was just with my finger. So now what we gotta do is see if we can get more leverage because I can see with some weight, that can be kind of difficult. So that's the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, make a nice bracket so we can either use a handbrake to pull, make some, something cool, or just relocate the, the brake cable line to go over here. So that's, uh, that's it for this little segment. We'll see if uh, where we get to when we come back. Do <laughs> do